Hey everybody, Duke here, Blue Tar Peel, down at the cornfield. So uh, we're getting ready to uh, plant. I'm going to show you the cedar. I'm going to start this process out. Back on an earlier video I did, probably a week or so ago, um, I was talking about sowing the seed and putting the proper seed into proper soil. And uh, I told you I was going to pick a lot of rock. Now, I can guarantee you that not every rock is out of this field. I would believe, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, over here behind me, or just in front of the house site, you'll see two mounds there. Um, that is a pile of rock to come out of here. Plus, over by the garage area, there's another massive pile of rock. And uh, if I was to guess, probably close to 50 ton of rock was pulled out of here. Um, it was a very painful uh, deal. You know, so we did get a tiller, and I'm, I'm actually standing here talking to you, looking. And, uh, you know, we got, we got another rock in there. You know, go figure. But, uh, you know, the idea is, is uh, to do the best that we can with it and uh, kind of let it settle a little bit. But I tilled this probably uh, six to ten times, I would guess. But... You know, it may look like that was a big rock. I want to show you what it did. So, I'm telling you right now, that right there is mountain dirt. Believe it or not. Um, little rocks here and there, of course. But, in general, that right there is mountain dirt. You can see the organic matter in it, which is uh, good. And uh, we've pretty much got that whole thing looking that way. And uh, there's a rock bench that uh, comes underground down through that area right there. So it was, uh, you know, certain areas of the field are a little worse than others. But uh, then the further down that you get, to get away from that rock bed. I mean, I'm another, you know, 15 feet down. And I just, oops, just lost my ring there. Very nice dirt. Another rock. <laughs> so, um, show you a little bit about uh, how we got it to be like that. Um, I'm, I'm definitely glad to be done picking rock um, on the bulk side of it. We're going to plant it. And then after uh, the harvest, I'll till the uh, roots back up into it again, take the stalks, cut them down, make it into mulch. Um, we did that with the, the six-foot tiller mounted onto the uh, big you know, new red. So uh, it's working off a PTO system. She's a brute, I'm going to tell you. Um, when we first put it down that ground, it sounded like a bomb going off on this mountain. This whole rock that was still in there. But we got it. So, seeds laid out. Approximately where it's all going to fall out. Like I said, about 6,000 plus seeds are going in here uh, right now. I've already uh, got everything prepped. I'm not going to do a video while I'm planting because it's going to be too difficult. Um, but I did want to show you the cedar, so I looked at getting one for the tractor, but justify the price for one of those for such a small field, it, it, it just didn't make sense. So what I did is I got what's called the Earthway Planter, it is a drop cedar, and this serves multiple purposes. So, uh, very basic setup, as you can see I already have the seed in the hopper. So basically what we have is we have a the wheel that's going to groove out, keep me in line, it's going to start trenching. That's working on a belt system, so as that's turning, it's turning that wheel, and that wheel is turning a disc that will pick the corn up, or multiple seeds, or multiple discs with this, drop it into this chute, bring it down, Drop it through 
this chamber. Now, this device is, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's measurements on there. If not, I'm get a tape measure. And I got it set to drop the seed at one and a half inches below the surface. So it's automatically going to do that as I push it along. That's another reason that you need to till up first because this will not plow. Um, I've seen videos of that and not quite sure where they came up with that idea, but uh, you're not going to plow dirt with this. You know, it's all aluminum, very, very light construction. Um, got a nice kickstand on it. But at any rate, this is going to go down. You can see the distance between the wheel and then how that's sitting on the ground. So the wheel's going to be at surface. That's going to be underneath, dropping the seed. And then that chain drags behind it. And as the seed's getting dropped, it's going to come over. So you're basically going to create a trench, drop your seed, and then the chain's going to come over top of it and pack the seed down. Well, I'm sorry, cover the seed. And then the back wheel's going to go across it. As you can see, it's flat. It's going to put a little bit of pressure down on top of it to properly you know, get the good soil to seed contact. All the while, while it's being dragged out, this is just a row indicator it's attached to the main system so as this is being pushed along this is marking your line for the next row so whenever you get down to the other end of your uh, of your field I'll be able to see you know the the next row which is spaced at 30 inches on the rows and I'll be able to see that line, stand up, pick the planter up, and then just simply flip the bar to the other side and start another pass on the way up. Using that line, that should give me a fairly decent, straight, uniform corn row. So uh, we're pretty much prepped up, ready to start. Um, just again, you know, so this side of the field right here is getting planted with the Silver Queen. We're going to take it out uh, about nine, no, I'm sorry, about 45 feet, I believe it is. 45 to 50 feet. Put us kind of into the middle of the cornfield. The cornfield come out to about 90 by 90. So uh, we come over and that's going to put us about middle field. So everything on this side of the field should come up seven to eight feet. Everything on this side of the field will come up six to seven feet. So there's our sun. As you can see, we're still fairly early in the morning. We've got full sun on it. We'll have full sun on it all day. That sun tops right over top of us here. But in the afternoon, if you look at the shadows on the trees, any shadowing is going to be this, this way, if that makes sense. So the taller corn won't shadow the, sh the shorter corn and then as the day progresses sun's going to get up more directly right on top of it have the corn filled completely in sun and then of course we're going to be setting over on the back side um, but we will definitely have an easy six if not closer to eight plus hours of sunlight on all the corn so those little areas down there where you can see some shadow that would be just for the morning just a little bit on the very tip of the cornfield but as soon as it you know gets up just a little bit higher that's going to shift and all those shadows are going to go to the far side of the field um, and the sun is not over on the back side of those trees it's going to be above those trees so a lot of planning on this and uh Mountain land turned into a homestead. Gotta love it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this seed in. Just kind of want to show you the process I was using. And uh, I have no clue how long it's going to take. Don't really care. And it's going to happen. After I get that done, then uh, we'll get out there and start working on them blueberries and other fruit trees if I got time. But uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Let me get some corn in the ground. Enjoy your morning.